and and we're so blessed to be in the presence of one of our political uh, sages in the country and the, the last man standing, our political uh, founding father, the Honourable Sir Julius Chan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Um, as you're fully aware now, uh, the opposition, through our the opposition leader, uh, the Honourable Douglas Tumiesa, have uh, moved the vote of no confidence against the current Prime Minister, the Honourable James Murad, the member of Tari Pori. Our alternate Prime Minister candidate is uh, the Honourable Alan Bird, the Governor of East Sibir Province. We wholeheartedly feel uh, on the opposition that the Prime Minister doesn't have the leadership acumen, he doesn't have the management ability to lead the country, this land of a thousand tribes, Papua New Guinea. And the country is too big. And you look at the second preamble, which talks about equality and participation. Well, every Papua New Guinean must participate and benefit in the development of our country. This hasn't been happening. When we're seeing regionalism just prevalent, and we can't allow this. And on behalf of myself as the Deputy Opposition Leader and the people of Trave, I say thank you for the nomination and appointment by my colleagues on, on, in the opposition. And we just want to assure the people of Papua New Guinea that the whole reason why we've pushed a vote of no confidence against the Honourable Prime Minister today is because they don't have any solutions. During this time, we appeal to all members of Parliament uh, who also confirm that a lot of the provinces and a lot of the districts have absolutely missed out because of this nefarious tool called selective warranty, where we've just had the Prime Minister and the Treasurer uh, dictate and decide who gets what warrants, who gets released development funds at whim. Not against policy, but at whim. We can't apply this sort of discretion to the people's money. When you look at the country, 22 provinces, we have to give them block grants. We have to put the, uh, the governors in the driver's seat. And why have the governors been having continual dialogue with the Prime Minister since 2019 for great autonomy? What's so hard about deciding? Yes, give the provinces their money and empowering the governors so they can get back to the, the, their provinces to run the provinces. What's so hard? So this sort of flowery uh, responses by the good Prime Minister without any policy. We're talking about take back PNG. What is that? Where is the policy for take back PNG? In five years, he has been absolutely unable to redact that into policy. All it is is just a cliche. Take back PNG. Take back what? Where's the policy? The people of Papua New Guinea deserve better. In fact, they deserve the best. And the best is in the opposition right now. That's, that's, that's the appeal to all members of parliament to come across this change, the course of development for our good people and get Papua New Guinea back on the right track. So we're not there floundering on, on borderline poverty, but we can be a prosperous nation. We can give opportunities to our children and we can ensure that our future generation have a hope. But this is a call to all members of parliament to make the right decision and save Papua New Guinea. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.